you know, I hate to admit this, but actually, Philip, and I'm broadcasting it too, the biggest, well, not the biggest failure, but I'd say one of the pivotal moments as a teenager was failing driver's ed. Not the actual test. I mean, I did well in terms of the written test. I mean, I, I could study very well. So taking the written test, it only took me two minutes flat, but it was the actual physical test. I just couldn't stop properly or I just wouldn't stop and it, I mean, I would take my own right of way when I shouldn't take my right of way. I would speed, for example. And so it took me four times to pass my driver's test. And it was quite a failure on my part. I mean, as a teenager, you become very dramatic. It feels like everything is stopping in front of you. You feel like your future is dead when you can't pass something so simple when all your peers have passed this test. And it feels like it's a death in your social life. It's a death in your perhaps in college. I mean, you live in San Diego. Traffic is not accessible in terms of transportation. So when I failed my driver's test four times, I felt like a complete failure. You know, in life, really, it's not that dramatic. Life is complicated, but it gets less dramatic over time, I have to admit. Someone told me that failure is not optional. It's actually necessity. You're requ you should fail in life because your problems have a purpose. It was a test, yes, but it became a testimony for me later on in life. Knowing that, knowing that I can look back and that God is a sovereign God and that he sees everything. And to this day, if there's something that I want, if there's something that I feel like God hasn't answered, I know that he's in control of this whole thing because I'm a better driver today because I failed my driver's test. So overall, look at the bright side of things and know that God is in control and that things do happen for a reason. This test is my testimony and I hope that one day you fail too in your circumstances, not be a complete failure of course, but really those failures in life, they're, they're, they're not a setback. Well, they are slightly when you think about it, but it's a setup for something so much bigger and so much greater. Perhaps one day you can go out to the world and share your testimony. You know, it's like a tea bag. I always compare it that way. When you put in hot water, that's when it becomes stronger. And that's when you see yourself and really see your character evolve over time. And perhaps during that time, you can grow stronger in God because you're surrendering. At that point, you're going to say, God, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. And eventually, I passed the test. And you know what? I'm a better driver today because of it. And I'm a stronger Christian because of my failures in life. Well, a time that I once experienced disappointment that I saw later on that God's hand was in it. I've had many times like that. Uh, the one that I'll share with you today is from when I was young. Um, my parents were divorced when I was nine. And at the time, I couldn't really understand why. And there's lots of other stories I could tell about that right now, but I'm not going to. But it's for another day, another time. Uh, at the time, I didn't understand why. We were all in Christian school. I have a brother and a sister. And we were all in Christian school at the time and loved it, felt loved, safe, encouraged on a daily basis, surrounded by caring and sweet and kind friends, family, teachers. And when the divorce happened, there was suddenly no money and we were forced to change schools. And my sister and I and my brother all switched from Christian to a public school and we'd never been to a public school before. And I'm just going to say I was sorely disappointed. I was very upset um, among other reasons for being upset, but I was very upset by that switch. I missed my friends. Um, I couldn't understand why God was allowing that. I was in public school the rest of, of my educational career and still went to church as much as I could got to be in high school and it turned out most of my friends stayed at Christian and when I got to high school I joined a really awesome youth group and in fact they still have one today here that's incredible and got to know the youth pastor really well the kids who were at the youth group most of them went to Christian and I fraternized with everybody we would go to Christian football games um, and of course, I, I still enjoyed my own school, but I would pray to God at night, Lord, 
why? You know, why can't I be allowed to go to this school? Why can't I go to Christian? I don't understand. All my friends are there. Um, I don't get it, Lord. I, there were many nights that I cried because going to public school was very difficult for me. Um, there was constant bad language. The teachers maybe were or were not nice, depending on who you had. Um, but I just really struggled. And just a lot of things that I had to see on a daily basis and listen to just were very hard for my spirit. So I was upset for a long time. Well, God answers prayer. He just doesn't answer in the way that you, that you think he's going to answer. Um, I prayed that prayer for a long time, all of high school at least. And I didn't know his plans. And sometimes I was even angry. Um, but God has a purpose and a plan. He says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. And he's faithful. I had no idea that however many years later, he was going to answer my prayer in a way that I did not expect. And he brought me back here to teach. Um, I never would have expected that. I am in awe of him. Every day I walk on this campus, I am reminded of his faithfulness. In fact, not only am I reminded of his faithfulness, but I'm also reminded to trust in him even when I don't understand the plan. Um, in fact, I even thank God now that I got to go to public school because I was allowed to experience a lot of things that tested my faith and made me a much stronger Christian because I know that I need to depend on God in all situations. 